with all of that, consider that you are going to see some um, traffic lights that are out with all the power outages that we're seeing across the area. Make sure you treat those as four way stops this morning. Also, the flooding is going to be the, the big factor. Quailin's been saying again, this is just the very beginning. We're expecting several days of heavy rainfall, uh, anywhere from 10 to 15 inches of rain here throughout the weekend. A lot of lightning. You just saw that lightning strike there. Uh, this as we take a live look at uh, at this camera, you can see the Superdome there right now. Travers Mackle is out in the elements for us and uh, Travers. What are you seeing? Well, Randy, I'm actually driving on Tulane Avenue and it's absolutely gridlock right now. Um, for people who are familiar with this area, this is the, the new VA and you can see it. It looks like a lake. Water is not coming in these parked cars yet but it, it's close and you can see very few cars are trying to brave driving through this right now going out of downtown towards uh the lakefront area here's the side that i'm on trying to come towards wdsu in downtown new orleans and you can see these are big trucks and suvs and the water is almost coming into those uh most people not in this spot but behind me have moved their cars to the to the medians and to the neutral grounds and I'm not going to lie to you. I've been sitting in this spot for probably about 25 minutes and I've maybe moved 10 feet. I'm assuming that it gets worse up ahead as I hit uh, I-10 by Claiborne Avenue by the old charity hospital and people just aren't driving through it. You can see these cars right here driving through it if you're taking a look right here. But I am on Tulane Avenue right next to the, the VA and right next to the new UMC. And uh, you can see some cars trying to drive on the the higher lane near the median, nobody's going on that lower lane, but uh, they're gonna start pushing water through a lot of these low-lying cars over there on the left. As I was driving in, I passed criminal court, and there is some serious flooding with homes and businesses by criminal court in that part of, of Tulane Avenue. For people who are familiar with that neighborhood of Mid-City uh, around criminal court, around Tulane Avenue, it's uh, there is a lot of water, a lot of cars flooded, and it looked like some possible homes that were flooded as well. But you can see a, a guy just left his business or house right here on Tulane Avenue and got into his truck. And uh, the water is definitely high and thick. And, and it doesn't look like it's going down. Randy.